Hey guys, Brandon here for CBM Reviews and welcome back to my top 20 comic book movies of all time. When we last left off, I had given my 20 through 16 list. So now we're back with my 15 through 11. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so my number 15 pick would be Avengers Infinity War. Now, this movie was supposed to be the movie to end all superhero movies. And I will say it did one thing successfully. It did something that no other superhero film had done before. Now, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, but... If you've seen the movie and you've seen the ending, you know what this film did. You know, everybody was saying this was going to be the most ambitious crossover they had ever seen. But honestly, if you haven't seen the Jimmy Neutron Fairly Odd Parents crossover, that was the most ambitious. With this film, there was a great story to it. I, I love what the Russo brothers have done with the films they directed, including... Captain America Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. So when I first heard that the Russo brothers were directing this one, I knew the film was in good hands. And by golly, they did an amazing job with this film too. The only real problems that I really had with the movie were one, if you hadn't seen like movies prior to this, you would be completely lost stepping into this film because no characters really get any type of character development because they got their development in these previous films. My other gripe with this movie would be that it seems incomplete and you can tell that another movie has to follow in order to complete the story. So that's why this movie is number 15 on my list. For number 14, we're actually going animated here and I'm gonna say number 14 is Batman Under the Red Hood. The story is an animated feature that takes place after the Joker has killed um, Robin and then a mysterious character comes up, the Red Hood. If you hadn't read the story, I'm not gonna spoil this film for you, but the Red Hood comes into Gotham. He's actually taking criminals' lives within this film, which goes against what Batman's code is and Batman has to stop the Red Hood. And it is, it is one of the best animated DC films to date that I have seen. Wonderful action pieces, wonderful story. Like I said, if you don't know the story, uh, then the, <laughs> the reveal might surprise you. Um, but I just think it was a great all around film. DC does such a wonderful job with this animated projects. Um, but yeah, this film, I, I love what, I could rewatch this film over and over. It's, it's really good. So for number 14, I'm gonna say it's Batman Under the Red Hood. For my number 13 pick, I'm gonna say it's X-Men Days of Future Past. Now, this film, I, I believe, was ultimately designed to fix everything wrong within the X-Men universe. And for the most part, it does do its job. It's a wonderful, wonderful, and in all honesty, I feel like it could have been the end of the X-Men franchise. It wrapped everything up so nicely. Everyone does such a wonderful job, and it was such a delight to see not only the rebooted cast, you know, work alongside with our old favorites. Now, they changed the story a little bit, sending Wolverine back in the past, but I mean, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine is, is the star of the X-Men franchise, or, or what's the star? He was the star. But I just, I just love the merging of the two franchises with this film and how it, it tried to fix everything that, that happened that we, that us fans weren't so happy about that, that went along with the X-Men franchise. So this film is ultimately fan service to us. So. Thank you, Brian Singer, for that. For my number 12 pick, I'm going to say that it is X2, X-Men United. This film, oh my goodness, it is, it is the standout X-Men film, in my opinion. From the first sequence where you see Nightcrawler in the White House, to the final scene where you see Jean Grey having the Phoenix Force come through her. It is just a wonderful film throughout. This was the first superhero film where we saw 
you know, the good guys team up with the bad guys to stop an even bigger threat. Any of those stories are just a huge enjoyment to watch. It is wonderful. I mean, su such great scenes and sequences from, you know, the storming of the X Mansion to that Wolverine and Lady Deathstrike fight. You know, er everything that happens in this film is done really, really, really well. And I don't have a lot of negatives to say about it. It's just such a great film, such a great enjoyment. And again, Brian Singer just knocks this one out the park. So my number 12 pick is X2 X-Men United. And for my number 11 pick, I'm going to say it's Deadpool. I can't believe this film almost never got made. I don't know who leaked that footage, but kudos to them. Thank you so much for doing that because this film was such an enjoyment and Ryan Reynolds practically is Wade Wilson. Um, everything that I had expected pretty much happened in this film. Uh, I know they kind of brought it, you know, down to earth a little bit because he doesn't have like the two voices in his head in the movie, but that's okay. Whatever they did in the film, they did well. This was such a great film and you could tell that this project came from the heart. And I think that's that's why this film worked so well is because everybody involved, you could tell that they really, really, really wanted to make this work. Just standout performances to everybody. Sure, the story is pretty basic, a basic revenge story, but like everything in between, between the characters, the humor, everything that goes on within this film, it just does so well. So yeah, my number 11 pick is Deadpool. And that's my 15 through 11 picks. If you don't agree with me, go ahead and put something down in the comics. Tell me what you thought about this. Tell me what you like, what you didn't like, what belongs higher, what belongs lower. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Again, this is Brandon. Come back later to figure out my number 10 through number 6 picks. I wonder how different they're going to be from my brothers. See you guys in the next video. Oh, I am very turned on right now. Let's go give it to you.